Hello, my pretty. So, are you guys? This is going to be a collective message. Um, the pretty oracle.com is my website, is where you're going to be able to find my products and services. Somebody has to say about my website. This person, um, have they've got a reading. Okay, it says, I just received your emergency reading, and I'm blown away by the accuracy and guidance in it. Basically, all I said was that I have been struggling for a while, but gave zero details about it. Your reading hit a 9 out of 10 for what I have gone through and what I'm currently going through, which felt like someone understood it without me having to explain it or make it make sense for them. You know what it is and could tell me why. And I felt like I was being seen and understood and it brought me to tears. I am overwhelmed at the relief as someone understanding it at a level that few do. Truly, even without the amazing guidance steps to feel better now, the belief that this too can be overcome and for coming up with a game plan, just having someone know and understand gave me so much relief that words are not big enough to explain. I am so grateful for you, for your, for you sharing your gift, for your compassionate understanding. Um, I appreciate that. Someone, uh, actually asked, like, can you share this? Um, and I appreciate that, um, for you guys who just send me your reviews because you're pleased with my services One of the things that I wanted to address that this person said is that I also issue a game plan, especially like in my, I do it in a collective readings, but then, all, but definitely I get in depth when you get a personal read with me. Like I'll see what's going on and then I'll be like, all right, but all you, but here you do this. And then for this, you do that. You know what I mean? And this is how this person is doing it. You know, um. I learned that because I always had to break down some shit somebody was doing to me. I just, somebody always doing some shit to me. <laughs> yeah, and once I figure, it's not even funny. I don't know why I'm laughing. It's not funny. But um, it's like, once I see how you doing it, it's, it's clip for me. It's over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's over. Um, it's a thing for me. I like, I like to do it, you know. Um, break down the methods of the attack and systematically um dismantle it, you know? <sighs> um, I'm a nerd like that. Always have been. Anyway, um there's a whole community of people that want you to be ashamed and tired and only use your energy to survive and Blah, 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 you know, um, you see all these people getting together and you know what they're, uh, speaking to me about is, um, for those of you who seen Stranger Things, I bring this up frequently, but like the, uh, everybody being led by one energy. Okay. Like the, like the, I, I, I believe it was called the Demi Gorgon or something like that. It's just one devilish ass energy that everybody is connected to. Okay, these people hold hands, a ring around a rosy, haya 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 seance and some more shit when it pertains to you. Um, you know, and they need to. They are not gonna be able to do it alone. And so they get together and they do this, they feel like it's strength in numbers. Um, a lot of fingers is pointed at you, a lot of hands are being um directed towards you. If you take a look at these cards here, a lot of hands being directed towards a person. Um, and sending a bunch of negative energy, y'all, I would, in, in another instance, right, probably tell you to break these spells that they doing, but I'm gonna tell you right now, if people are doing this and they getting, and they, and they gathering with this hive mentality, cause everybody a demon, everybody shares the, uh, you know, is channeling from the same demonic consciousness. I would tell you to transmute this energy. It's a lot of energy being directed towards you and why break it when you could use it um these people feel like you know they huddled around in a circle and some more shit um you can make them worship you hello <laughs> i would i would i mean this is a lot of energy that's being that's being um 
drummed up by several, many, and plenty of people. There's a lot of people here. You know what I'm saying? Why break that? Why use most of your energy to break these things, which is something that they want you to do as well. They want you to feel like, like, you see, they want you to feel like you're surrounded and you're doing everything to stop these attacks and, oh my God, and this and that. Transmute this energy and make it work for you. Okay? Um, yeah. Especially with the Knight of Cups. Transmute this energy and make it work for you. It could be a father and son here that 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 could be involved or a mother and daughter, whatever. These could be family members of yours. Okay? But yeah, this has to do with transmutation. This is what you're being called to do. Transmute this energy. There's no... I don't see any reason to break this energy. Because it's being directed at you. And you know, I brought this up to you guys before. But like, if somebody give you a million dollars, right? But then they like, throw it in the dirt and like, roll it around in the dirt and make it all filthy. And then hand it to you. You know what I'm saying? You got to literally clean it. You got to launder this uh this energy. You know what I'm saying? You have to clean the energy. Clean the money. All right? And then still use it. It's just, it's just too, it's just too many people that I'm seeing that want you to feel like this and that's engaged in this. And it's real sad. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know if at any point, any one of these people sit down and really think about it. Like, Hmm, I'm a fucking hater. <laughs> you know, I am a fucking hater and I'm dancing around in a circle with other haters and targeting one person. I am in fact sad. They driven by some outside forces, though. The, the, these forces, like, I don't know if y'all can see this, but um, there is a force, okay? It looks like even three heads or four uh, over them. You know what I'm saying? Driving them to do what it is that they need to do. It's crazy because I was thinking earlier, it's a lot of people that love me, honey, that uh, be doing me something. Trying to anyway. Um, and... They don't be really, you know, they love me. But that thing on their back, tell them they got to do me something. It's a trap, but they got to do it anyway because they got high obligations. And see, that's one of the things that you guys got to patch up back on, uh, patch up back about, even though times may get hard with all of these people against you. You really got to patch your back that you don't answer to nobody but the most high and the most high would never steer you wrong or tell you to go fight uh or attack somebody for whatever stupid ass reason you understand what i'm saying it's about spiritual freedom they don't have that they gotta do what they're told so like i said with the community energy here this could very well be family that's doing this to you you gotta really pat yourself on the back you know you 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 you're at a place in life or you are just the type of person that does not have to follow no hive mentality okay um you don't gotta check in with him downstairs when you want to do some shit okay show me shameless survival somebody could be wanting you to feel ashamed about your sexual preferences or something that got to do with sex or your or your or your lovers or something like that. This could be some energy work that somebody is doing um to you with the 6 of wands and the 3 of swords at the bottom of the deck. You know what I'm getting? Some of you guys could be having sexual dreams and be feeling dirty when you wake up. Cut cords. Okay? With if you don't know a particular person, to say, you know, to cut cords with, <sighs> y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to say this. I said it before. Like, if you don't know who to particularly to cut cords with, think about who you had sex with that's like a warlock or a witch or whatever the fuck, right? But then also, you even got to cut cords with certain family members because all these people that's in a circle, like, a lot of them could share your DNA 
but then also be playing with themselves to like your photos and shit like that. Cause that's the type of magic that they be interested in. That I mean that they, that, that they have, um, that they're practicing. All right. So cut cords, of anybody trying to attach to you, especially to your lower chakras and shit like that. And, and, and even like in your dreams, there's something here about somebody wants you to feel ugly. They want you not to feel, somebody don't want you to feel like you look good naked or whatever the case is. <laughs> shit <laughs> shit yeah with the empress here they don't want you to feel like you that bitch it doesn't add up though I, you have to be that bitch or that ninja because everybody wouldn't be fixed fixing their schedules to get together and hi y'all hi y'all in a circle if you wasn't you wouldn't be the 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 reason, okay, for the meetings and such if you wasn't. This don't make no sense. Let's get logical. How could you not be the shit if everybody's gathered here today in your name? That don't make no sense. Show me survival. Somebody wants somebody to feel fat too. I'm getting that. With her little belly hanging over. Somebody wants somebody somebody else to feel fat. Show me. Somebody wants you to use all your spiritual power and your I heard your spiritual prowess, okay, to, to stay alive. Somebody wants you to be scared too. They want you to use, and see, that's why I told y'all, you know, um, keep doing a particular protection ritual. Like just keep doing this shit because protection is the energy that builds and builds and builds and builds like that. You have to keep doing it. All right. And not getting so wrapped up in, um, constantly fighting these people. Because then it'll take your it'll take your mind off of manifesting with the two of wands as well. You gotta manifest. You gotta save a little bit of your energy to manifest. And that's why um a few of y'all ordered like the new moon bundle. And I ain't even do the new moon reading. But you know, I that don't worry about it. I I figured out what to put in y'all um in y'all um new moon bundles individually, okay? But um, that's why I be I, I do those new moon readings too. So there's like, you could also remember to manifest. So with the full moon, just go ahead and and and, and um, cut cords, yoni steam, uh, step on bitches' heads, dominate them. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you got to do, dismantle voodoo dolls, revoke contracts that these people got on your head. Uh. Call for karmic justice or whatever. Invisibilize yourself or some shit, right? But then when that new moon come, you make sure you have your goals and aspirations written down. And then also do the work to, to, to um, manifest that, okay? Don't let them have you sitting here constantly, uh, uh, fighting, and uh, it's so many of them. No. They gonna do this shit, period, because they have to. So like I said, you you just be better off transmuting this energy. Somebody wants you to be scared and oh I'm tired and I and I can and this and that. And it's just like if you if you listen to your enemies, right? If you look at the areas of your life that your enemy is trying to attack, uh, that they're targeting, those are the areas that you know you need to strengthen and, and protect. And also those are the areas that you know you're the shit in. Okay? And if they trying to cross up your whole motherfucking life, then you then you just an all-around bad bitch. I'm telling you right now. Period. They said, oh no, cross this bitch up. She doing too much. Cross this ninja up. He 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 doing too much. They don't like that.
Y'all, I don't mean no harm, but I be feeling, I be feeling the, 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 the excitement. Um, let me shut up. But people get so excited when they feel like, um, you stop working or, you know, you tired or, or, or something is bogging you down and, and, um, you just, you just want to quit. People get so fucking happy. You can almost feel it. You can almost feel it. If you were in touch and intuitive, you can almost feel like the, 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 the collective, um, yes. Right. When when you stop, when you ain't on your shit or when they feel like you ain't on your shit or whatever. And see, that's why. You know, when you pop out. You also feel the the oh, <laughs> the letdown, you understand what I'm saying? The oh, the collective size. Hating ass whores. <laughs> oh, shit. It's sad if you let it be. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's sad if you let it be. But if you just look at this logically, you'll be good, okay? Come up with a plan. Be strategic. I'm also getting like, come up with a daily, um, a daily, um, structured way to live your life. You understand what I'm saying? It's okay to take a break. It's okay to power up, um, Don't worry about the opinions of others because that's another thing that I'm seeing that they want you to be worried about the opinions of others. Y'all, again, I tell y'all this all the time. Why would you care about what a community of people who meet on such and such day at such and such time to channel him downstairs in order to stop little old you? Why would you give a fuck about what they got to say, what their opinions of you are? Like, I don't go to the bottom of the barrel. I don't open the barrel, go to the bottom and say, how are you all feeling down there about me? Give a fuck. <laughs> I don't care. Don't care. And you shouldn't either. Show me the emperor. Spirit is saying this. Look how much stuff. Like, look how you are full of talent. I heard, wow, and I heard they're full of malice and they're full of malice. You are the emperor. You, you're you literally being like, you're being referenced here as the emperor. Imagine the emperor not wanting to emperize shit. Come on. We're, everybody's waiting. Everybody's waiting. You know what they reminded me of Bridgerton? Um, it's the characters in Bridgerton, but it's uh, Queen Charlotte. I was watching that. I love that show. I love everything about it. The dresses, the the jewelry, the hair, the the puffy sleeves, the the off with their heads type energy. I love everything about it and it's very romantic as well. Um and they got some of the best like non raunchy raunchy sex scenes in there as well. I don't like raunchiness. But um <laughs> but um He didn't want to, the king couldn't be the king because he was fighting like mental issues. And, you know, his mother was basically saying like, listen, you got to be the king. Like, this is what you have to do. So get yourself together. So imagine the emperor not wanting to emperor's shit. You know what I'm saying? The emperor in his four cups energy and in the moon, like feeling and, and don't eat or drink nothing that nobody gives to you. You are the one to beat. Okay. You are the one to beat. Everybody want to take a stab at you because everybody want that belt. It's like, it's like, you know, everybody, everybody's trying you because people want to be the one to come home with your head. Like, I got it. I got it. Like, it, it, it's something for them. Yo, and that's another thing, right? That's another thing. That, um. You can't just be out here fighting anybody because everybody going to want to try your hand.
because everybody's trying to make it to the status that you don't that you're already at that sometimes you don't even know you're at this status with the four of cups everybody's trying to get there and it's like if you fought whether spiritually physically whatever in whatever way and whatever whoever want to come bring a discrepancy to you if you fought everybody that tried every one of these people in this community that ring around a rosy in your name it's like you'll be fighting forever You got to put your hand up, you know what I'm saying, and just, uh, you know, make that call. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay? Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Make that call to the spirit world, like, listen, this is not, this is, they, they're trying to, look at this as tax brackets. It's like, you know, the poor people, them, the, you know, I don't even want to use poor, okay? But we're going to say poor because they're energetically poor. But, you know, let's just say like, because I don't mean it when it comes to this. I mean it um, in spirit. You know what I'm saying? Imagine the poor people, them, you know, climbing up the ladder to tell you, and hey, bitch, da 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 You're like, yo, get this bitch out. Get out of here. You know what I mean? And sometimes you got to like... Uh, mm, Put in that call. Put in the call. Because you can't fight every uh, mere mortal or you can't fight or, uh, um, you know, react to or entertain every crab that crawl out this fucking bucket to address you. Because they want to be at the top. They want to be the big fish. You can't. You can't. It's something in it for them. It's nothing in it for you. The, the uh, a wise man told me don't argue with fools because people from a distance can't tell can't tell who's who. It's like that. It's like that. Okay, you're an emperor. Emperize some shit. Okay. You come with all the tools needed. This is like the magician too. You come with all the tools needed. You, you, the tools and everything is instilled in you. Look at him. Look how he's shining. It's instilled in you. You look. You got magic. Weave some shit. Oh, um, they giving me um that TikTok trend where she's like, ah, and um, a voice says, "Why are you crying? You a witch? Go do some spells or some shit." Get the fuck up. You're a witch. Anyway. Somebody could have just ate a heart-shaped lollipop. And got, I don't know where that came from. A while, but somebody could have just ate a heart shaped lollipop. The magic is within you, okay? You sitting back and, and, and people are begging to be saved, helped, healed, whatever it is that you provide, they're waiting for it. They're waiting for it. Don't keep them waiting. Don't keep them waiting. You the king, you the queen. Pick your head up. Transmute this energy, make it work for you. Let these people worship you like they should. Like they are. Because that's what they doing. Take them to church. <laughs> Take them to church. Okay? For some of y'all, this could be church members. Members of your church. So it's so crazy because some lady just asked me, and, 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 and this ain't the first time recent, like it ain't the first time in, in, in recently that somebody asked me like, oh, come and join my church. Lady, I'm looking at you. You're a, you're a vampire. Okay. You're a vampire. And my spirit team just ran down your whole resume from since, from when you walked in the door. You're not about to invite me as your sacrifice to your church. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Please. Okay. 
Be careful about that. Somebody blow dryer just blew up or they burnt their hair or something like that. I, I feel this energy. Show me the nine of cups. I feel this energy of you feeling good and then, you know, just ultimately, you know, feeling robbed of some sort of energy. Yeah, especially with the eight of wands, okay? This energy, it felt like that you was robbed of, kind of like was, was shared between these, these people, whoever these people are. That's what it feel like. Show me how they could get their energy back up. Some of you guys may want to add some protection to your bed or your bed posts. For those of you who get the, the um, Devil Dick Wash Bundle, I think I wrote down in the instructions that you could tie the extra ribbon around your bed post. Um, blessed ribbon. I give you guys blessed ribbon. And I say, like, you could tie if you have any extra because it's pretty long. I send it for all different, you know, types, body types because it has to go around your waist. So I just want to make sure, you know, everybody, it can fit everybody. So I make them extra long. And I say, if you have extra, you could tie them on your bed post or whatever the case is. Yeah. I'm here every morning. There's a halo hanging from the corner of my girlfriend's four poles bed. I know it's not mine, but I'll see if I could use it for a weekend or a one-night stand. I know it's not mine, but I'll see if I could use it for a weekend or a one-night stand. And I've been telling y'all this shit, too. Like, it's, it's, it's chicks that's involved in, in whatever this, this group of people is that want to be sexy like you or they want to show up to 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 their romantic partners as as you and then also as people i don't know if it's you guys look innocent or whatever but it's something about taking your light and and using it and showing up to people as you now if these people all got around and felt like there was enough light in you to 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 share amongst the beggars them like I said, you can learn more um, from your enemies about who you are. You know what I'm saying? Then you can learn from your allies. Let your, your enemies literally are is telling you who you are by the things that they're doing to you. Ain't no way you could be sitting here thinking that you ain't the shit in despair. It's no way. Cause you got a whole team of people that think different and 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 want what you have internally, okay? Tell me. This is a witch hunt. Independent. When I told y'all, I was telling, I said to y'all, you don't need no group and bring it back to life. You don't need no group. And resourceful. What's it? <laughs> You're a witch. Get up. Go do some spells and some shit. I hope y'all saw that so y'all can know what I'm talking about. They say, get up. Get up. Laughing behind your back. This is the this is the group of people. This is the group of people. They're all, they all, you know what I'm saying, getting together. And laughing, witch hunt, like I say. But they all getting together and laughing. But um you could laugh at the fact that they needed to even get together in the first place. Why did y'all need to get together? This car just dropped. This cat got nine lives. They can't hold you. They can't hold you. Period. It says you don't need them. They could have ousted you. This could be a group that you, um, with this energy of independent, this could be a group that you was once a part of, a family that you was once a part of, or whatever the case is. Um, something here about them getting karma and you're going to win in the end. But we already know that. You know what I'm saying? So 
some of you guys may be thinking about moving across the country. Yeah. Um, right now, I feel like you don't need to work with nobody. You're very strong on your own. There's a lot of... Um, with this energy of... Uh, there's a lot of... Um, opposition okay and so right now you know working on your own is going to be best use your discernment okay um with the six of pentacles here clarifying and bringing back the life literally like taking you know what energy you're giving and look two of pentacles and alchemizing it with the queen of wands showing up at the bottom of the deck alchemizing that shit and turning the lemons into lemonade who you think you fucking with who who? That's why this cat got nine lives is down here. It's like I got a transmutation candle. I I only I only use it for myself. But do your own thing, okay? Do your own thing. If you've bought from me before and you want it, send me an email. I'll give it to you. Show me resources. Maybe. I don't know, y'all. <clears throat> yeah. You see the energy of the King of Swords? Like, really think about this logically. How am I, how am I going to get myself out of this energy? Please. Alchem alchemizing things, especially with the lovers, the king of pentacles, and the the star. Okay, you see how she in this water and she's you know taking it, and you know what to do, you know how to do this in order to power up your chariot. Okay, with the um hermit, go and figure this shit out. Okay, how can I alchemize it? This could be something as simple as writing on a candle or however it is that you manifest you could you could say things uh, or chant or whatever the case is i transmute all negative energy into positive energy to fuel me or whatever say that 108 times and then boom if you got mala beads or something like that okay however it is that you practice your practice and and the reason why i'm being vague when it comes to transmutation is because with the queen of wands here and that emperor showing up and this energy of independent and then also this cat got nine lives there's something here about you that's otherworldly you know exactly how to do what you need to do okay that they're literally um referencing your individuality and how strong you are so i don't have to tell you how to do nothing what i what what I would say is do it how you would do it, okay? Because it's in you. I see it here. This is not, I'm not reading for somebody who is clueless about something, okay? This is somebody that I'm reading for that got a lot of power that ain't using it right now. For whatever reason. Show me laughing behind your back. What are these hoes laughing at? Something about a relationship, especially with this dragging their feet non-committal. Something about a relationship they laughing at you. Somebody, a, a dude could have played you. Yeah, you could have a, a dude that's like a street runner, always got his dick in his, excuse me, in his pants. I mean, in his hands. This could be a Taurus, but this giving me a warlock energy. Whoever he is, he's fucking crazy. <laughs> Word. And he got something going on with his personality. And he got to do with him downstairs, tell him to do, or the spirits like him downstairs, tell him to do, or whatever the case is. Again, are you sticking your head in the barrel and, 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 and reaching your neck to the bottom? What are you crabs laughing at concerning me? <laughs> No. You can't hear them. You live on the top floor. Let them laugh. Y'all better not.
not be out here being ashamed about nothing. Because if these people ain't ashamed about uh, clearing their schedules to meet on a certain time to do uh, seances for him downstairs, then what are you ashamed of? That, that energy is artificial. Get rid of it. Okay? Wash it away. Oh, let me write down transmutation bath. I'm going to really have to talk to my ancestors about this because I, I don't have no clue how to finagle that. But I'm pretty sure they'll let me know. But let me write that down for y'all. I'll do my research. So these people could be laughing about a blow up that happened between you and a warlock dude who got a personality disorder. Yeah, seven of swords. Like, oh, he broke your heart. Uh, you know, like that. Like, uh, he put he put you in your fields. That's what they laughing at. Like they never been in their fields before. Like their heart was never broken before. And that's why, and I, and I go back to that saying about a wise man said, don't argue with fools because people from a distance don't know who's, who is who. You are the one to be. So there's people who, who, who are in worse situations or who've had worse things happen to, to them. And they're pointing their fingers at you because you're the one everybody's paying attention to. You're the one in the top spot. You're the one, you know, at the top of this spiritual food chain. That they trying to drag down. So it doesn't matter about them. And what they and how shameful they should be. Because ain't nobody checking for them. They checking for you though. And hearing you got hurt in whatever way. And hearing somebody snaked you. And broke your heart. And broke you down. And so on and so forth. That's the T. Ain't nobody checking for them. They lives always suck. You know. I mean whatever. Ain't nobody checking for them. They call mix. Ain't nobody checking for them. That's a normal day in their lives. But just to know that you have been hurt and you've been going to, you understand? So. <sighs> Look. That biz naive. <laughs> and don't ever forget it, okay? Don't you ever forget it. Don't ever let nobody tell you different. Don't ever let nobody project no bum-ass energy that they get from themselves and put it on you. Okay? Because that's what this is. This is projections. This is how everybody that's, that's gathering around in that circle feels about themselves. So cleanse this off. Go get a bath from me. Go get the um um uh uncrossing and cleansing bundle. Okay, but for a lot of y'all, I'm seeing that you could do this. Okay, you can do it. I hope that helps.